Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. In the last part, we left Dart hanging, and uh, he's pretty much been hanging for about a whole week now, so <laughs> I do apologize for not getting um, the episode out on Thursday as I uh, tried to, but um, things come up and I can't always control that, so uh, let's get right to this, see if he can uh, hang in there, right? Rose! And there goes the phantom ship, see ya. Dart, Rose! Dart! Oh, they fall. Commodore Poo! <laughs> Commodore Puler. Put out the life raft, quick! <clears throat> well, I hope they can save us in time. Ah, there's the cutscene. Wow. Already a fire started. Rose, you're a boss. Hmm, what is going on? Dart and Zeke, they are so much alike. Not only are they Dragoons, recognized by the Red-Eyed Dragon, but there's something else. Something that attracts me. Uh-oh. More women in his life. After 11,000 years of time, I now feel the strength and tenderness of Dart, and even his frailty. These tamed the insanity of the Dragoon for me. See, if my hands could grab him, I wouldn't have had this bitterness. Hmm. That sounds all sad to me. Ooh, look, cutscene! Oh god, what is that? Oh. Is this. I think this is back in the past. Come on, Rose. Uh, uh, not bad. I'm taking you with me. No, don't sacrifice yourself. Damn. What the hell is that thing? Wow, there's a Raj. Penis gun. More dragons, nice. It's like a scene from like the God Sanctum or something. Reminds me of like Olympus or something. Very cool. He's a little creepy. Another dead dragoon. This one epic battle. Not gonna lie, pretty sweet cutscene so far. Oh, there's Viraj. Oh. The golden dragoon. Also injured. The white and silver one's still alive. Your death won't be vain. Oh, fire your arrow already. Come on. Damn. Everyone's dying. God, he's turning to dust. Tough shit that Rose has to go through. I saw Zeke and Dart. But Dart is Dart. He is not Zeke. 
No, he is not Zeke. Ah, pretty view. Ooh, doggy. Or a sheep of some sort. Nope, it's a dog. They found us. Pooch, what's wrong? Ooh, guy's name is Pete. What's up, Pete? Oh my god, there's somebody there! <laughs> uh, we seem to be doing alright. Nice little town. Time to look for some stardust. Oh, full control now, right? Oh, can I move yet? Pooch, you like him, don't you? I was surprised. Nobody would think there are people there. We are safe, thanks to you, Pete. We have to thank Pooch, too. By the way, are you in love with each other? Because you two are traveling alone. Do you think so? I think so. Don't they look it? Yes, you make a good couple. Don't be silly. We were just looking for our friends. Actually, there are seven of us. Okay, but you don't need to be shy. <coughs> uh, she's sick? Are you sick? It's nothing. Yeah, I don't need to cough anymore. Actually, we should have been to the clinic in the neighboring town. Neighboring town? It's Fueno. There is a port and they have a boat to Danau. You know what? The Queen Fury might have dropped by. But why don't you take your mother to Fueno? Because there is a monster on the way in an undersea cavern. I know we rarely have guests, but we have to let them go, Pete. Mr. Dart, I hope you can meet your friends soon. I hope so, too. Say hi to everybody, okay? Alright. Let's go, Rose. Our party of two. I wonder if this part we play, like, split parties or something. Before we go, uh, I probably need to check around, uh... Make sure I don't miss uh, miss any stardust, because uh, right now, I haven't checked in a while, <laughs> so I don't know exactly where they're located. Oh god, fucking calls. Can't answer that call right now. I'm busy. Let's go check over here. Give us an option where we want to go. Let's move to the Ocean Terrace. Sounds like a great place to start up. The sea dragon is making a mess of Elisa Bay. It's too dangerous to go fishing. Hey, how was this close? We fishermen are going to bust because we can't go fishing. Hey, thanks. I made it. Uh, this is a strange group of people. Recently, monsters appeared in the undersea cavern. It's too risky to go to Fueno. Come on. Be good to me, baby. Uh hell kind of talking creepily to me but um guess we'll let that pass go to the pierre <laughs> pier hope i haven't missed anything um i think i can always come back here if i need if need be in the meantime uh, we can check our party and see what's going on here so level 23 25 additions that's maxed out Three more times, and we can move on to Demon's Dance, which is going to be very nice. Ooh, 
Oh, more buildings. I'm happy. I'll check this one down here first. <clears throat> Holy crap. Uh, Alright, let's talk to these people. Everything in my house, house leans to one side. What am I going to do? Or what am I going to do? Dried fish are hanging. Alright. Oh, there's the dried fish. <laughs> I wasn't talk I didn't talk to her, did I? Look at those guys on the terrace. Just because they cannot go fishing, they are sulking and just fooling around. Hmm. Maybe their weird uh, talk to me was probably because they were drunk. Hmm. Please be a shop. If it is a shop, it's probably going to be a pain in the ass, and we're probably going to have to come back and buy some stuff for the other people. An inn. Very nice. Let's go check around. Can I go on the other side? I see, like, an entrance up there, but it doesn't look like I can do anything else. So, if I can save if I want to. Pete's Ma really... Pete's Ma's a really good woman. She lost her hubby to the sea when Pete was still little, but being the woman that she is, she worked hard and raised Pete. But as fate would have it, Pete's ma became ill. Now Pete's taking care of her, but she's got to go to Fueno as soon as possible to be treated. There's a hot spring, uh, hot spring in Fueno Clinic, and it's famous for working miracles. I've always wanted to go there, although I've never had the chance, but I heard it really works. When the guy next door had a strained back, he went there. Oh, that's cool. Well, thanks for the backstory. check up here, because uh, I saw something. <clears throat> Never go and explored. Alright, now we are behind here. One Stardust in the shop. Nice. I don't know how many Stardust are located here, but uh, good enough for me. At least we got a little more progress. Not only did we get a nice cutscene for a little bit. Uh, I talked over that because... Uh, <laughs> Just have a little too much energy right now. The game the mayor and the others are playing is for three guys. I got left out, so I'm sunbathing here. Can I go across? Nope. He's blocking my path. Bastard! Well, uh, this looks like a good as place as any to stop. I probably need to uh, research up a little bit more and make sure I don't miss any of the stardust while I'm going through. Um, there is a treasure chest over here, so, uh... I'm going to collect that, but looks like I triggered something. So let's finish this up real quick. Aw, oh, not another cutscene. <sighs> What's wrong? Would you please take us to Fueno? Aw, oh, don't tell me he's a party member. I'm afraid of the monster, but we got to go before it's too late. It's about your mother, isn't it? I want her to be in the hospital. You got it. We'll take you there. I can annihilate the monster for you. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Thank you. I'll bring my ma. Leave before they come back. <laughs> What are you looking at? Nothing. Alright, Dart. Are we ready to go? Want to go up here because there's a treasure chest. Aw, oh, son of a... <laughs> Alright, why not? Healing potion, somebody. Healing potion! Yay! Well, uh, I guess that concludes this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is Ladkin014. In the next part, we will take uh, this child's mother to Fueno, and hopefully, uh, along the way, not encounter that undersea uh, creature, but I have a feeling that we might have to fight it. So, 
Until then, I will see everyone next time.